everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Sarah and I'm so happy to have you here. As you can tell from the title, Scott Barnes. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited. If you have watched me from the very beginning or you are a close personal friend of mine, you know how much I, like I'm a diehard fan of Scott Barnes. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always known him as the amazing painter. And then of course, the most amazing makeup artist in my opinion, to the beautiful Jennifer Lopez and to many more celebrities. So when I saw that he was coming out with lip stuff, I was like, yes, I love that JLo lip. And of course I had to get it. I actually got a bunch of his stuff. I already had a, a couple of his stuff already but I just placed like a pretty decent size order so if you guys want to see a haul I will definitely do that for you guys just comment down below but I really want to focus on this new lip collection because I'm so 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 excited I love to support him because he is so amazing and so incredible and if you've watched his interviews he is the most humble person and honestly I really appreciate that for what he does for a living you would think that you know what he might have this persona, but he's honestly this, the biggest sweetheart and I love, love, love him even more for that. Like even more for his personality than even more than what he does. But the fact that he does it all, honey, yes. I'm so, so happy to be here and to do this because I love him and I love his stuff. So if you guys have not gone on the bandwagon to get Scott Barton stuff, I can truly tell you his stuff is amazing. In my opinion, I feel like it's very affordable and he does it in a way where he has special presses so that way it's not um, so um, costly, especially for us as consumers. I wanted to go through the price point and everything that way you guys know and the scents, of course, you know my reviews. If you guys don't know, now you know. You'll know after this, but I've done so many reviews as well, but to do a makeup review, it's always my favorite type because I love makeup and I'm sure you do too or else you wouldn't be here. But without further ado, let's get started and let's see what we think of the new Scott Barnes lip collection. So as you can tell, I pretty much did my makeup. I didn't want to do my whole makeup. This is just specifically about the lip collection. I did one of each. So I did a lipstick and I did a lip gloss. I just feel like I wanted to get something that I know I would wear all the time and kind of give me that JLo lip because really who doesn't want that you know she always looks fabulous first of all look at the packaging so it's lip fetish is the liquid matte lipstick and the flossy glossy is the uh, lip gloss so that's the collection and that's what they're called for lip gloss I got the color champagne and caviar first of all just the name alone I'm like all right I'm there I love it and it is this beautiful color I will show you guys in just a sec and then for this lipstick honestly I first saw his lip swatches, I fell in love with this. Like they're all absolutely divine and gorgeous, but engagement, I'm obsessed. This is what it looks like and I mean, you know, this is something that when you pull out, everyone's gonna be like, ooh, like what is that? Like I really I don't feel like I've seen anything like this. It's beautiful, it's chic. It's like a goldish color. You know what they said the scent was? You know how some um, lipsticks or lip glosses actually are like kind of, um, they'll either be like no scent or like this cupcake scent, whatever. Not that it, that's bad. This is chocolate marshmallow scent. Chocolate marshmallow. So let's see if it really, really is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've never smelled a lipstick or a lip gloss like this. This is amazing. Like, Okay, so let me swatch this for you. Oh my gosh, this pigment. Okay, this is my first time seeing it too, so. Oh yeah. This is so me. It's like the perfect nude. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can tell that this is lightweight. It's not gonna dry out your lips. So to me, that is super important. And honestly, that's what it stated on the site as well. It said that it's gonna give you that matte look but without drying out your lips. And I'm all for that because who really wants really dry lips, you know? So this is the Flossy Glossy Lip Gloss in Champagne and Caviar. This is like Christmas, I love this, oh my gosh. And the packaging is so fun. I have to say I was stuck between Triple X and I forgot what the other one was called, but this, I feel like I don't have anything like this. This is, this is unique. So this is supposed to be a lip gloss that's not supposed to make 
your lips tacky which i really really appreciate in a lip gloss and i'm sure you guys too because you guys know like how it is and it's so annoying also this is also supposed to be long wearing just like the lipstick so to me as a lip gloss for it to be long wearing because you know lip glosses usually go really quickly it's not like that supposedly and this also has the chocolate marshmallow scent so let's see oh yeah oh yeah this looks like it's like a brush and i just want to quickly bring out the other one just so we can compare the brushes this is more like a dome this is beautiful your does this as well and i really do appreciate because it it's like a brush you know when you actually get like if you are a professional you know that you use a lot of brushes for doing lips so this is really nice because it really does get all in there you know what i mean so i'm just gonna swatch this for you guys as well i think i did a good combo because this on top in the center mm, or even alone so good let's see oh yeah i know they're like totally different two undertones like that are different but what i want to do is i'm going to do like a brownish lip liner and i'm gonna um put this on first and just see how that looks then i want to take it off and then just do the lip gloss alone and then i'll do them as a combo because if you saw my wing goss review and how i did the lips i want to do that for you guys as well because if you don't want to get it all but you want like let's say the lip gloss alone you want to see how that looks so i want to give you guys different options and just see how it looks you know all together and also as they're on their own so we're gonna do things Scott Barnes style we're going to outline the lips first with some contour and of course I had to use Scott Barnes contour palette and I'm so excited to use this because I just got it with this order actually but I can do a more in-depth review and I can definitely show you guys what else I got because I got quite a bit of stuff so What's really great about contouring your lips prior to is, is that it really holds the lip liner, lipstick, and everything all together and you don't have to over overline it, it looking way too forced. Because once I put the lipstick on, this is actually going to be a little bit more neutral and I'm just going to grab a little bit of a beauty blender and just kind of dab all the way around it so it looks a little bit more natural. So to line my lips, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder lip liner in the color Spice. You can tell I love this because this is pretty much all I have left. But. And what Scott Barnes likes to do is he grabs his finger and pushes it outwards so what do you guys think of the engagement shade from the liquid matte lip i'm obsessed with it honestly it is so lightweight and i can tell already and i mentioned this when i swatched it but putting it on it's so different and all i smell is that chocolate marshmallow and again i haven't ever had anything like that in a lipstick or lip gloss so i am really really impressed with this it's so comfortable to put on and it feels very nice you know how sometimes you wear a lipstick and it feels like you have a lipstick on this feels like i have nothing on and i feel like if you are looking for a good nude like this is perfect like you can't go wrong but just for the sake of the review like i said earlier i wanted to give you guys options in case you just want to get the lip gloss or you know i'll show you guys after how it all looks together but i just did the lip liner and the liquid lip alone and now i want to do the lip liner which i already have on and i'm just going to do the lip gloss alone it's great on its own it's really really great on its own like with a lip liner like this like i personally love a darker lip liner with a more lighter lipstick i mean sometimes of course i do reds and stuff but i'm just saying when it comes to a nude lip my perfect nude lip is a brownish undertone uh lip liner and then a lighter lip gloss or lipstick and honestly this is just so me and again I've seen Jennifer Lopez rock this look so many times and I am in love with it, but I'm really, really excited to see them together. But I just, again, wanted to give you guys options because why not? This is what I'm here for and I want to take care of you guys. So let's see how it looks all together.
And another trick from Scott Barnes is he always goes a little bit on top and it makes the lips look fuller. I love it together. Honestly, when I look at this lip, I feel like it's Jennifer Lopez. I feel like he does this combo so much on her and I'm always like, oh my gosh, like it's amazing. To get this and feel like, wow, like this is what he uses on her and you know, the exact colors or whatnot, it is amazing. But let's say besides all of that, let's say he wasn't using any of this stuff on her and he just created it. I'm obsessed with it. I really, really am. The quality is out of this world. The scent, I literally just wanna get like chocolate and marshmallow now and actually eat it because I obviously can't eat this. But that's all I smell. It just, it screams luxe to me, but at such an affordable price. I am so grateful that he even came out with this because again, I've been such a big fan for so many years. So for now to actually have, you know, his stuff, like holding his stuff and that he's been using, it's honestly incredible. And I am forever, forever grateful. And Scott, if you are watching this, I want you to know how much I adore you, who you are as a person. You are definitely the definition of inspiration. You're obviously so talented, but of course who you are as a person just outweighs everything because you can have somebody so talented and their personality is, you know, whatever, but you are just so humble and so kind and it definitely makes getting everything even more special because it's supporting somebody like you just to be able to sit here and to share with the world all of your stuff it's an honor it really really is if you guys have not got your hands on his products they have really changed my makeup game and i promise you they will change yours just the quality and just everything that was made from shades to just everything it's very exceptional and amazing it's beautiful and i'm so happy that i got my hands on these babies and i can't wait to get more and i can't wait to see what else he comes out with he is a force to be reckoned with and i am so happy that i was able to do this video and scott if you are watching again i just want to say i love you and to all my viewers i love you all so much please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when a new video is out 